Hey everyone, my name is Jimmy Wei and welcome to the channel again. So today's video will be slightly different because I've been thinking doing this for quite a while because I've been driving manual transmission cars for almost 10 years. I think now is the opportunity for me to show you how I learned and to master the manual transmission. I believe many of you have been watching YouTube, some other kind of YouTuber so they teach you how to drive manual transmissions but my video will be slightly different because I'm not going to show you what is clutch, what is brake yeah. so those things you don't have to know if you don't know, you don't just don't drive manual transmission but uh, so I'm going to teach you with my car so the 85, 86 and I've been driving my manual all day long so for this car so why do I still want to make a video like this when there are so many other videos on YouTube teach you how to drive manual transmission? Um, because I think everyone has different opinion on how to drive manual. I think some of the YouTubers, so they're really good, but they should understand. So the learner, the beginner, so they might not understand what you're saying because. Um, even though they understand, so they still have to learn, but to copy exactly what you're saying is really difficult. Because I remember at the beginning when I drive the manual transmission, so I am a experienced driver with the automatic before. And I've been driving, I mean playing a game like a, a Sailor Corsa, so those kind of simulator, racing simulator, so with the manual transmission, clutch, everything. I still very struggle at the first maybe one two weeks so and I believe so every everyone when you start to learn how to drive manual transmission you will be struggle and you will know so you're gonna uh, miss the clutch I mean the engagement point and you're gonna stall the engine multiple times so what I'm trying to do today is to show you how can you prevent the engine from stalling unnecessarily because uh, the way you learn from YouTube maybe so they teach you, they told you so you can see the gas pedal so they told you give a little bit of gas and release the clutch slowly but the fact is so before doing that it's like a, so it's like when you're trying to run so you need to learn how to walk first, right? And so you need, you need to learn why the engine is stalling. Because when you... Some people are always saying if you release the clutch too quickly, so the engine will stall. But you can also prevent that by giving you more gas. But the problem is, at the beginning you shouldn't learn that. Because you're not going to master that. If you give more gas, you release. So the wheel is gonna spin, so it's gonna give you more trouble. So what I'm gonna teach you is, as a beginner, so the first day you learn how to drive manual, what you gonna do. Also, every car is slightly different, like older car, newer car. Uh, even some newer car, they have the some electrical system to prevent you from stalling the engine. But I think the best way is to get an older car without any assist. I mean, for the electrical system. Um, so that's the best thing you can learn from the old cars. So what I'm driving now is the 1984 Toyota Trono E85. Apparently it's manual and five speed. So and the best thing about this car is so it doesn't have any sort of assist on the I mean the gas pedal. So it's a it's not an electrical throttle. It's just a normal mechanical and cable throttle and the clutch also no electrical I mean just a hydraulic clutch and gear lever so everything is pretty raw so and it's also very straightforward so if you want to start the engine because right now so my clutch is like a heavy duty one so but you don't have to know what is heavy duty or just normal clutch. But the heavy duty one will be slightly harder to drive.
than the more more uh, like a economic like cheaper clutch right all right without further ado so let's get started so what I'm going to teach you now today is how to start the engine and let the car go so apparently start the engine so pretty simple I don't have to teach you but if you have a manual transmission so it's highly recommend always check the gear lever is in neutral because some of the car has the I mean the electrical protection so without using a clutch you cannot turn the engine over but if you don't make sure the gear lever is in the neutral so sometimes you might stuck on first or other gears and when you release it and you're gonna stall the engine or the car just jumping forward yeah just make sure the gear is in neutral and you can press the clutch all the way in and start the engine so my car is slightly loud but it's all the same so and I believe many of you so when you first learn how to drive manual you're always afraid to start the engine but I'm just gonna tell you don't be afraid because that's everyone gonna go through it I'm gonna teach you I mean maybe for now I just want to teach you how to stall the engine right so you're gonna see so what make the engine stall so just foot on brake clutching put in the first gear you can see if you release the throttle now the engine is gonna just stall also because my car has a heavy duty clutch so it's gonna stall pretty quick but some other cars maybe slightly struggle uh, 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 but my car is just bang so so that makes no difference right now actually because once you get used to the I mean the heavy duty clutch everything is the same now let's start the engine again so make sure it's in the neutral start All right so you can see right now my handbrake is off so I didn't put any so my car is on the flat ground road so no uphill no downhill so I'm gonna teach you the easiest way to make the car going by only using the clutch so because some other uh, teacher or youtuber they told me uh, they told you to give a little bit gas but actually at the beginning you're not gonna control it you're gonna confuse so you're gonna give too many throttle too many gas or too less and the engine is still stalling so the first thing you're gonna learn is the clutch I mean you gotta you need to learn so when the car is start to shaking and start to moving forward I mean that's the most important thing without understanding the clutch no matter how much gas you put in so you're gonna just make the situation worse and make the car harder to drive. So now, maybe I just give a little bit uh, light. So you can see the clutch pedal there. So I just put my phone here. So how to make the car moving without using the gas pedal? So you can see right now, so clutching. You can copy what I did. Clutching, moving the first gear. And you can really just slowly release, I mean slowly release the clutch really slow until the car is moving. Right? So you can see here, if I slowly release, 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 you can see the car start rolling already. And if you are become nervous, push the car in again and put back on neutral brake. So that's why. So some teacher they tell you give some throttle and the car just go, but you need to control the clutch first. Let's do it again. So release slowly, slowly. You can see at this point where the car started shaking a little bit and start moving forward slightly. So that's how the clutch is engaged. You see, I didn't 
do any, I didn't use any gas pedal so I just use the clutch so the car moving hold the clutch don't move and the car is moving and you can now release the clutch you can see I didn't I didn't use any gas pedal anything if you want to start uh, stop I mean stop the car clutching brake that's it all right let's do it again so now I'm going to move back a little bit same just imagine the reverse is the first gear right so put in reverse see so my gearbox is a little bit different, different so you can hear the sound same thing so release the clutch slowly slowly see slowly at this point the car start moving you see start the rolling back right I didn't use any gas so I just use clutch to control what I'm trying to go you don't have to use gas at all so just let the clutch do its job right very simple there's a one important thing I believe you're gonna be nervous so sometimes it, it's gonna happen because at the beginning everyone's gonna be nervous so whenever you become nervous one trick push the clutch all the way in neutral brake so hold it release the clutch I mean so now you can pretty much just without stalling the engine right so you can still so not too nervous and you can still start again practice so let's do it one more time so clutch in so you run out right foot on the brake right move to first gear so no gas pedal just release the brake I mean the foot brake and release the clutch slowly slowly you can see the car is moving when the car is moving you can just hold it right hold the clutch don't do anything don't release the clutch too early just hold it until the car is moving then you can release the clutch so now the car is just moving without using any throttle at all now you might want to ask me so when should I use the gas pedal so that one I think um, so what I recommend so when you when you got your manual car, transmission car and just get a open space like there's no cars around do some practice first because once you master the clutch engagement point so at that point you start to learn how to so what kind of how, how many gas you want to put in to start a car to let the car roll slightly faster than just by using the clutch only and yeah just a learning process you don't want to so I don't want to teach you everything in this video right now because yeah my next episode we're gonna teach you some other techniques of driving manual transmission but today I'm gonna to show you so how to how much gas you're gonna use and also I mean just a combination of the footwork so how to make it smooth so now let's start the engine again and, uh, all right so before I show you how to how much gas pedal you're gonna use so you need to you need to feel I mean you need to know how to control maintain the RPM yeah just do more practice on the right foot you need to feel the gas pedal the movement to maintain the RPM so the gas pedal will help the process easier right so if you only use the clutch, sometimes the car starts to struggle. But I mean, on the flat road, still okay. Just by you only use the clutch, and the car will start moving. What if the car is uphill? So that's another technique I'm gonna show you later. But on the flat ground, so if you wanna if you wanna start the car slightly quicker, same thing. Just putting first gear. At this point. You can see you can release the brake pedal then move on the gas pedal 
So what you're gonna try to do is hold the gas. Right. Hold the gas. Around about 1,500, maybe 2,000 RPM. And to release the clutch, still the same. Slowly release. Right, slowly release. You can see the car shaking. At this point, you sh still need to... I mean, just like that. I'm not sure how to explain to you to make you feel... But everything is just pretty simple. Because for me, I think for me, it's pretty simple already. Maybe for you, you're gonna need more practice, right? Because I've been driving manual transmission for almost 10 years. So everything seems pretty simple for me. It's pretty much just you gotta keep your legs stable, control your muscle, memory. Pretty much, so where you should hold and just wait for a couple minutes, a uh, couple seconds. I mean, that's kind of just like a. So, if you want to master something, you're gonna need a lot of practice. Now, so I will drive the car. And you can see from the angle, maybe. Let's see how I start the car again. So, the same thing. So, right now I'm on the flag road. So, I'm gonna put in the first gear without, without using the gas pedal. See, so I just slowly release the clutch. So you can see the car start moving, shaking, moving, hold, hold, hold the clutch, and just go. So I didn't use any gas, but now when you fully release the clutch and car rolling smoothly, you can give a little gas to feel what's going on. Now it's pretty much. At the moment, it's like a automatic transmission. So what do you like? What I did, you see, at the corner. So I clutch in again, but yeah. now I'm first gear up downhill. I mean, second gear. Probably just want to. Actually, after the car start, so it will be easier to change the gear. Much easier to change the gear than to make the car going. Third gear, fourth gear. So to change the gear, the concept was always very simple. Clutching, I mean change. But you still want to hold, let me just couple of 0.5 seconds and just let the clutch engage smoothly. Other than that, so all I did is a downshift, but it's too early for you guys to learn that. So that one is another technique, so after you master the gear change, Upshift. Once you up, master the upshift, then you can start learning how to do the downshift and stuff like that. And also now you're at the corner of the street. So I do just keep the car in neutral. And change to first gear again. Driving a manual transmission is only at the first maybe two weeks. It's gonna be struggle. Sometimes you're gonna experience different different scenarios, different road. It's gonna make you nervous. Especially when you're stuck in traffic, maybe uphill. You don't know what to do. Sometimes you're just gonna keep stalling the car and you become more nervous. Oh, I'm in a dead end. 
use it now and just put in neutral. You don't have to put in neutral, maybe just second gear. But I mean, once you master everything, so you can do whatever you want to do to suit all kinds of scenarios. And you can do the adjustment pretty quickly because you're very familiar with your car. Go back to somewhere empty. I'm gonna show you one more time. Maybe here. So here is another good example. I just quickly park the car. Hold on. So the downhill star is just a very simple, and but you're still gonna at least know the basics. So when you should change gear. So what I normally do, just put in first gear without releasing the clutch or releasing the brake. So once the car stops moving a little bit, so I can release the clutch. So now it's just like a normal situation now. You see, just very simple and straightforward. corner because it's slightly uphill situation so I'm gonna keep more gas before releasing the clutch but yeah just so this just uh, you can see right now clutching neutral first gear a little bit gas hold it Just like that. Yeah, everyone, I just back home. I'm not sure if you learned something today, but if I make a summary, so today's video just to tell you don't use the gas pedal at the beginning of the learning. So, we just because right now I don't have to turn on the engine, so I'm gonna show you guys one more time. So, very simple if you're on the flat ground, clutching first gear. Slowly release. Actually, once you get, I mean, once you're familiar with where is the engagement point, so you don't have to release too slow. But just get to the point, and you can feel the car shaking. Hold it, and at this point, slowly release, and the car will start moving forward. And once the car like reaching about maybe 10 kilometers an hour, you can just fully release the clutch. At those moments, so the car, for example, right now, the car is moving about 10 kilometers an hour, so you can use some gas pedal to feel what's gonna happen with the car. Yeah, that's pretty much everything today. And you can repeat by clutching again, neutral, and do it again. So just keep practicing, uh, I mean, just start, stop, start, stop a few times until you really find out where is the engagement point, then you can move to the next level. And also whenever you think something is not right, so you can just push the clutch, brake, and move back to neutral. So at this moment, your car, the engine is still running, so you don't have to start the car again. And if you want to do it again, just do it again. And simple. So today's video, just to quickly show you the importance of finding out the clutch engagement point without doing anything else. Because from the next episode, I'm going to show you how to do the gear change properly. And uh, yeah, we go from there. And hope you like the video. And see you next time.